Tell Tamika and I am back, Jack. What it do, family? It's your girl, 2D2. Now I'm back with another video. Shout out to the squad. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming back and tuning in. I appreciate all of the support. Before we hop into this, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's all you got to do to support the channel. Now let's get right into this video, man. I'm pretty sure by now everybody has seen the circumstances that is surrounding Sean P. Diddy Combs. And I'm telling you right here, right now, things is really, really about to hit the fan. Now I do not like to raid on a man parade but i think this is a long time coming it is a long time coming and i cannot help but think about his children at this time i know everybody's on the internet and they talking about diddy this and diddy that i get that but he has some kids right now that my brain and my heart right now it is just I, it goes out to them especially the three daughters okay um Right now, the twins is in my heart because this is their last year of high school, and this can't be the best, best memories uh, for their senior year. And let's not also uh, forget the fact that they no longer have a mother as well. Chan still has her mother, but I can only imagine how it is for the twins. Now, listen, there was a raid on both homes, uh, the home in Miami and the home that was in L.A. Uh, let's take a look. About 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say, less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. And on the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily armed and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this afternoon we actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates and as soon as they got inside the home one of the things that first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there now they did take a couple people into custody now I'm not absolutely sure if anyone was taken into custody but what I do in fact know is that there were several people that were detained outside of the LA residence, two of which was uh, Diddy's sons, Christian Combs and Justin. Now I did not see any pictures of Quincy or the other three daughters, excuse me, the other four daughters, because there also is a newborn that uh, P. Diddy just welcomed to the family. Now listen, there's been a lot of allegations, a lot of uh, different type of circumstances that surrounding the late Kim Porter. Now it is alleged that she had a tell-all book that she was about to release, and there was USBs and telephones that people retrieved, or Cassie allegedly stumbled upon, that she turned over to the, to the Fed. Now, we do not know if that evidence is true, but we do know that there is some type of evidence that they had to find to have things like this happening in both homes. I mean, this is just not happening just from some spare the moment type shit. Um, he got himself into something. And the thing is, if, if he is in fact guilty. This is not me trying to crucify another black man. I want his ass to get everything that he deserved because there was a lot of people that was affected um, by P. Diddy's wrath, personally and career-wise. I mean, the list goes on and on for days. I mean, I don't even have enough time in this video to talk about some of the people that they say that he has hurt. You know what I'm saying? Over the uh, period of his career. Now, what we can say at this time is that um, there has been two raids done. Uh, the Miami home and in fact the LA home they have not said anything at all about uh the New York home and I guarantee you if they're doing this here they're probably going to do it there soon you dig what I mean this is a very very just difficult terrible ass circumstance that's all I can say about this um there were a lot of uh rumors that were going on and that's why I did not drop the video last night saying that he was on a uh, <laughs> he was on a run um his LLC his private jet you know what I'm saying was uh 
shown to be on the move. We do not know in fact if he was on that plane, but we do know that P. Diddy would leave a nigga. And it seemed like right now he might have left all the kids. I don't care what nobody say. He left them kids, y'all. He left all them kids. Like dead ass series. And he would do that, Shawty. Like over the years, we've seen him leave a lot of people that he said that he loved in very compromising situations. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But we do not know if he was on the plane. But what we do know for a fact that he was uh, actually pacing around uh miami airport outside of miami airport and i mean like anybody would be in this situation of course he looks stressed as all hell i would be stressed you did what i mean you got both cribs being raided uh i hope he got all the evidence out i think that he would have been smart enough to do that if not then I know he got to be shitting bricks. And not only just that, though, I know he has to be thinking about his children in this type of situation. He got to be, you know what I'm saying? Putting your sons uh, in this type of situation to where they're in handcuffs over the sins of your ass. I mean, that cannot be feeling really, really good in his heart right now. You dig? And like I said earlier, Shawty, my heart just goes out to his three oldest daughters. This cannot be simple or this cannot be easy for him at all. Now, listen, uh, Mace was on a uh, on his podcast and this is what he had to say and mace got deeper than that but to put it on a general spectrum this tonight on whatever date this is we're all here at this very moment no matter what path you took to get in this room tonight yeah is there's is a such thing as life and then there's destiny those are two different things like you every person have something they supposed to do but then they don't have to choose that. And that's what makes it your life. Like you could be meant to be something great, but you can decide something different as we see people do all the time. But you always know the right decision because it's the end result that tell you you made the right decision or that wasn't the right decision. But you don't know to the end. You'll know at the end. Did you make the right decision leaving rap? I did. Everything now that we see playing out was all the things I escaped. The car, the the shine, the loon, the puff daddy, Craig every, Mac. the Craig Mac, the Biggie Smalls, the Biggie Smalls. So even though I made those decisions and it cost me money. That's why I got with Killer and they gave me the money back. I didn't lose no money. A lot of people was talking shit about Mace. I remember when he first left and I don't know. Mace had to see some things that were surrounding Diddy that just did not feel good for his spirit because he left everything on the table. Money and all. I mean, he just wanted out. And I mean, look, that looked to be the best decision that that man ever made. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. I really want to hear from Fine's work. The nigga with the umbrella. I know he got some really, really good tea about all of this type of stuff that's going on. I can only, I can only imagine some of the things that he's seen now there was a lady named sloan bella she actually had predicted a lot of stuff surrounding kim porter now when that happened she also predicted that in fact around march april that this was going to happen to diddy there's a complete and utter takedown of p diddy and his three right hand men okay three so there's going to be a takedown that comes in with that and he's going to try to step away you he's they're not done and here's another thing i'm being shown his mouth is being sewn up so when i see his face the image i get is the mouth is being sewn up so he is going to be unable to speak for some reason I can't talk. I cannot speak for myself anymore. This to me sounds like a losing of faculties, a losing of thought, a losing of thinking. I cannot speak, but it's sewed up around his mouth. That's actually how I'm seeing it. They're going to stitch his mouth shut. When I ask her why his mouth is being sewn up. It's because of his mentors and they don't want it coming out over here, even though some of them are outing themselves. These are old guys connected to old time, old style Motown. And she's showing me that he's being shut up from outing them or from speaking about them. 
for some reason. So there's a hierarchy going on here and there's a total takedown of him. He is being sacrificed. So he may think he gets away with stuff. He may think it's cool he does what he does, but now he's the sacrificial lamb. And I do mean that. There's something that comes up with him in March, speaking of the lamb, during the Easter time frame, March, April, right in that time frame. That's why I said lamb. There's something else that's going to come up with him. We are not done. I want to know how y'all feel. Drop it down in the comments. What do y'all think about uh, what Sloan Bella said? I want to know about all of that. Drop it down below. Yo, before y'all head off this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want the whole detailed Diddy timeline, drop that down below too. And I'm going to get that video out for y'all. I love y'all family. I appreciate every single last one of y'all for tuning in. And until next video, I'm going to catch y'all, dog. Peace. Family, what it do? It's your girl Tamika, and I am Bat Jack.